So tell us about what exactly is DNA damage and what causes it. Okay, as you know, the DNA is a genetic material which is important for our lives. However, the DNA can be very easy to be damaged. Uh, there are a lot of hazards such as environmental hazards and internal hazards. Environmental hazards including UV, ionizing radiation, and many types of chemicals. Internal hazards such as free radicals that are generated during cell metabolism. All these hazards could induce many different types of DNA lesions, such as DNA single-strand breaks or double-strand breaks. If the lesions are not repaired or properly repaired, the lesions will accumulate and eventually induce genomic instability and tumor genesis. If the DNA gets damaged, so how does that lead to cancer? So, so basically the DNA lesions, if it's not repaired, so uh, the lesions were transmitted from mother cells to the daughter cells during the uh, mitosis. And also, if the lesions are not repaired during the S phase, there's a DNA replication. So one lesion will replicate into two lesions. That's how the lesions will be accumulated in the cell population. Right. You will see a group of cells will have all the similar types of lesions. And one will eventually accumulate over the threshold and induce tumor genesis. So as long as you have these lesions in the DNA, Right, this can mm -hmm. just accumulate over time. That's, that right. can create cancer. Right, right. So if you look at the cancer, cancer is a uh, is a disease, is a chronic disease. Basically, the lesions accumulate for years after years, and eventually, it's over the threshold. The normal cells will transform to the tumor cells. That that's that means cell growth without any limitation. Mm -hmm. What can we do to prevent this kind of damage? Cancer. Yeah, that's a really, really interesting question. Well, during the evolution, our cells have a so-called defense system. It's a called DNA damage response system. So basically, in this system, there are two parts. One is so-called cell cycle checkpoint. The other part is DNA damage repair. Cell cycle checkpoint's function is cell, what is it called? cell cycle checkpoint. Cell cycle checkpoint. checkpoint. Yeah. We can call it as a DNA damage repair system okay. as a whole. So basically, the cells will sense those DNA lesions, will send the repair machinery to the DNA lesions to fix the, those DNA lesions. So this is a, our cell, this is a defense system for our cells. And this is evolutionary conserved. Uh -huh. However, well, during, uh, during the cell growth, there are always some uh, mutations, spontaneous mutations occur. And once the mutations occur, regardless it's occurred in the uh, somatic cell or germ cells, sometimes it may, may mess up the DNA damage repair system. And if it's ma the mutation causes a repair deficiency, that will induce accumulation of DNA lesions. Therefore, all these repair machinery, actually uh, those, machi uh, those repair factors are important tumor suppressors. Because any mutation on these uh, on these uh, repair factors will induce the damage uh, lesions accumulation, and then eventually cause tumor genesis. So, therefore, these repair factors are important tumor suppressors. Mm -hmm. So, you're saying that um, the DNA repair system, like if there are lesions that affect that, that's the most critical thing that you want to protect, right? Right. Right. And our study basically looked at the molecular mechanism, mm -hmm. how those uh, genetic mutations uh, abolish the DNA damage repair, therefore induce tumor genesis. And once we study all this mechanism, we have to think about a method to treat the cancer. Uh -huh. So what, what, have you, what have you found in your research? So basically, right now, uh, we are uh, basically using a very interesting strategy to treat the cancers. So as also uh, you may know that, uh, just to explain that tumor cells, has a, some, some types of tumor cells uh, may have a, a repair deficiency. That means once the DNA damage occurs, the tumor cells have abolish, partially abolish repair. Therefore, uh, if we give the, uh, the tumor cells a certain, uh, uh, certain level of DNA damage agent treatment, it will induce additional damage that tumor cells cannot handle. However, the normal cells can handle. Therefore, that can specifically kill the tumor cells. 
but also not harm our own self. Right, right. Wow. So the typical uh, uh, example uh, is those uh, uh, the chemotherapeutic drugs. If we look at all these ther uh, chemotherapeutic drugs, uh, the first line of chemotherapeutic drugs for cancer treatment, such as uh, uh, IVFU, uh, cisplatin, or etoposide, all these drugs, chemotherapeutic drugs, can uh, basically are DNA damaging agents that induce different types of DNA lesions that can selectively kill tumor cells. However, this tumor, this chemo drugs basically has other side effect are also very harmful to the normal cells. Recent, uh, uh, over the past 20 years, uh, the FDA, US FDA, and also uh, in, in China, Chinese uh, correlate uh, agency, basically try to identify uh, alternative method to treat, the, to treat the cancer. And uh, uh, so we call it targeting therapy as a new year of drug development. Uh, right now, uh, we utilize another uh, relatively novel uh, strategy, or novel strategy. Uh, we call it synthetic lethality approach. So, uh, give a very brief introduction. So, uh, in for for the for the normal cells, it's just like a human with two hands. If there is a lesion occur, the cells use two hands to repair the lesions. However, in the tumor cells, because of genetic mutation it lose one hand, lose one arm. It has only one arm, barely to fix the lesions. Uh -huh. However, cannot fix, totally fix the lesions and the lesion accumulation will cause cell transformation and cause tumor genesis. Right. Well, in this case, if we specifically target another arm uh -huh. and the tumor cell does, does not have any arm uh -huh. and the tumor cell will undergo apoptosis. I'll pop, you mean that the tumor cell will die? Yeah, will die. It will induce tumor cell lethality. Maybe you could tell me what we could do on our own to reduce our risk of DNA damage and thus cancer. Yes, absolutely. There are many types of uh, lesions uh, induced basically by free radicals generated uh, during our uh, metabolism. Therefore, we use antioxidant species that can kill all these free radicals. For example, if we eat more vitamin C, more vitamin E will absolutely reduce free radical levels that will suppress tumor agenesis and we call it the tumor prevention.